Welcome to the Sneaker Podcast, a show where a bunch of guys sit around a table to talk life, lifestyle, music, and all things sneakers. So sit back, turn it up, and let's go. What up, TSC family? Hope you're having a dope day, and thank you for tuning in. This is the Sneaker Podcast. Season 7, episode 18. My name is Chris Chu, and he racks up K's because of his perfect game. King of the Midwest, what is up, Calvi? Hello, hello. How you guys doing? Good, man. And uh, also, he works with Fits of Fury, the Tsar of the Business Cash. What is up, Clo? What's up, guys? What's up, Clo? Mike and Sean could not make it this week, but should be back soon. Shout out to the mans. As always, the Sneaker Podcast is sponsored by your favorite organic sneaker cleaner, Sneaker Logic. You can find them on Instagram at sneakerlogic underscore official. Uh, you can use our coupon code, which is TSP15, if you want a little discount action on your next order. You can order like the full pack with all the brush and the towel and the solution. <laughs> Just a brush, just a solution like I do because uh, I use a lot of this stuff, man. I use a lot of the solution. Every time I get a new shoe, scrub, scrub, scrub. And they've been doing work lately at this, uh, I think, mural festival, right? No, I think they're at a Franco. Uh, oh, Franco Montreal. So many yeah. festivals in Montreal. Yeah, so much stuff going on downtown. They set up a booth out there and they're cleaning people's sneakers just to let them know what's up. And uh, they, they showed up before and after pics. Man. It's amazing. It's good I stuff. love it. Yeah, I love it. I'm like, okay, you get a shot of them scrubbing, and I'm, you're you're just like, can't wait to see the next shot because you know you're gonna get one, one dirty shoe and a clean shoe, and you're gonna be like, fuck, it's unbelievable all the different types of shoes they're cleaning. Yeah, and these are not like sneakerheads, so they 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 don't take care of their sneakers. Yeah, you clearly. So they're that. really trash, but after they clean them, they look new. It's great. Yeah. You, you so, see them do do any of those uh, chicks with the white white triple white Air Force Ones? Yeah, man. Uh, yes. I yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's what I want to see. Yep. Saw Go that. Look at. Saw some Chucks too. Yeah. Chucks. Oh, that's another good one. Everything. Yeah. Sneakers that we don't know the names of, they're cleaning them. Just to yeah. show you what's up. That's cool. Um, yeah. Go check it out on their stories. Again, their Instagram is at sneakerlogic underscore official. And yeah, get some sneaker cleaner for yourself. Yeah, now, let's get the podcast started like we always do with what we wore on Eat today, Calby. Why don't you tell people what's going on? Um, I didn't do much today, so uh, the only thing I wore was uh, what was beside my door when I went out yesterday, and mm. that is the uh, 997s, 997s New Balance and Carme de Garçon. Yeah. Sorry about my French. Um, yeah, I don't know if it has a nickname or what, but I, I like the shoe so. a lot. It's what I wear when it rains a lot because it's leather. Mm. Um, yeah. Great. I'm a big fan of the 997S. Did they only make one colorway of the Come de Garçon collab? I'm not sure. There's, there might be a white. I, I haven't seen it. Uh, these just kind of felt... One, yeah, right? that's yeah. what they usually do is a white yeah. and a black. So this black one, I just it kind of fell on my lap at a price that uh, I couldn't uh, refuse because mm -hmm. they're usually, you know, like retail is like $500 or whatever. Yep. And uh, I found it at a good price, snapped it up real quick. And... Uh, that's that's about it. Like I just quickly looked it up, looked it up online, and uh, yeah, grabbed it. Yeah, what's still. a what's a good price, Cal, for those? Oh well, like what did I pay? Yeah, like I, I paid I paid one hundred and seventy five bucks. Oh yeah, oh that's that's a, no a given. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they were used, but like not at all. I I put the only creases in them, mm. and uh, I've worn them a lot, and it's only got a couple really light creases in the toe. Um. So yeah, like I, I like them a lot. They were cheap. <laughs> I got another question regarding that shoe. Um, that's like a sock, eh? That shoe. Yes, yeah, somewhat. Um, it's not like a tight sock, like around your ankle and stuff like that. But it's got in the front. It has that sock feel. That right. uh, kind of like a pull tab. Almost. Like the the there's no tongue. It's like part of the shoe. Yeah. Right. So this this is one piece here. Oops, yeah. There's my stuffing. This is one piece here. I'm just showing these guys that the, the front has a part coming up and then the back is not really connected like a sock. It's a separate piece just stitched oh, to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I see it now. 
uh, but they, oh. they ride, they ride up nice. Like in the front, they ride oh, yeah, nice and go nice under your ankle and then come up a little bit on the heel. It's, it's a really nice feel. I, I like this model a lot. And yeah. for sizing, I have the impression that the lacing system doesn't really lace it. Does it? You don't Not need really. to lace it. You don't need it, to, yeah. right? Yeah. And is it made bigger? That shoe? It looks like it's made it's, bigger. It, I, I get my size. normal new balance size. Normal. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And they, they're great. But like yes, I like if I go, so I can wear nine and a, nine and a half is my true, true, true size in New Balance. If I go at, get a ten, it's roomy, but it's still it still sticks st- sticks to your foot. It gets roomy at the front in my in my experience, not the uh, not the the lining or the 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 neck of the shoe, as you would call. Yeah, it. I mean, I have my first pair. I got was uh, the Kith pair with United Arrows. And uh, I got that in a 10. Um, I tried it on in store and it fit fine. It still fits fine. Those are a nine and a half. And they fit okay. great as well. So, you know, like it's a little bit bigger than 10. Like you could definitely go your, your half size down if that's what you usually do in New Balance. But if you find like your true size, like I, I would say my like true, true size is a 10. Um, you, you could probably work it out as well. Mine don't bother me at all. See, I find like the 997. I don't know if you guys... You know those dress shoes that are super pointy? Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Those Wing shoes, tips or whatever, yeah. Yeah. You know you could go a whole half, a full size down those type <laughs> models. <laughs> yeah. And for me, the 997, because I find like it does go pointy and you do yep. have more space than a normal shoe, you could almost go down a full size. I yeah. think you could. Yeah. And it, yeah. Wouldn't, it wouldn't be an issue. It wouldn't be. Yeah. An, yeah. If you like yeah. it tight or if you like it like, like without having that little gap on your heel, if you're... Your foot usually slides towards the front. Yeah, I think you could you could go even a size small. Well, that's the thing for New Balance in general. So I wear nine and a half in New Balance, but every like Air Max, I'll get a ten. Mm. I could fit nine and a half, but ten is more comfy. You know that type of deal. But like, yeah, I guess if I can wear a nine and a half comfortably, wearing a nine wouldn't be too much of a stretch. Like, yeah. yeah. Fair point. I got a question about CDG. This your your Cal. Your shoes like prompting all these uh, questions, man. Yeah. <laughs> <For real. laughs> Do you think that Comme des Garçons need to like let go of this super high retail pricing on their collabs? You know no, how like I, uh, I, I do. Like it's yeah. done. You you prove your point. Get over it. <laughs> now price yeah. it regular. Yeah, because that's like that's somebody just asked this. What was it? I, I just saw it online something that's coming out uh, soon here and uh, it's very expensive. It's a collab. Oh man. I can't remember who it's with. Gucci. Um, no, but there you, we could say the Gucci. Sure. Right. Um, the thing is like, that's what made me, I already did appreciate him, but when you think about that, it makes me appreciate Virgil a lot because he took his off white stuff and brought it down to Nike's price. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Like off white is not cheap. You know, you want to buy a yes. pair of off-white shoes, they're what, like five to $900. And he brought them down to Nike's price. There's no tax on it. That's, that's Nike's price. And yeah. so, like, I like that. I like that a lot. I can see, like, you know, Kith did a Versace collab and they're Versace prices. But, like, okay. that's fine. That's a Versace close. You know what I mean? If you're mm-hmm. converting to, like, a sneaker that's not your sneaker and it's already somebody else's sneaker. Right. What, why are you throwing your huge tax on it if you're not really doing anything to it besides changing the materials? I don't, I don't I agree feel, with okay. that. <laughs> I'm putting your brand on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Because like, like, like the CDG Air Max are like 400, 500. Like, look, that CDG foam, right? That foam, uh, foam posit. Yeah. Soup, like $500, 600 700 retail. Yeah. And like, I like that shoe. I liked it too. I, like I would have gotten one. It's the price yeah, tag. Yeah, me too. I and I don't get phones. I've been a phone guy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. But the price tag makes it like weird to, it makes it weird to get and even weird to wear. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because you're walking around in a $700 shoe that is so expensive. You can't even, there's no resale market for it because it's already $400 too much. And as much <laughs> as it's a nice shoe, it doesn't look like it's seven hundred dollars. Yeah, no. You know what? No. no, no disrespect to CDG. It just doesn't look like it's seven hundred dollars. Yeah, you know? I don't know. My ninety-five CDG really looks. It looks. It quality. looks primo. 
Yeah. But 500 primo? Well, uh, see. Like it hurt. Like <laughs> more than the regular? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was high. It was high. It's high. And, then, and that's the weird thing, too, is like the chucks are a little more. Mm. But why aren't the chucks 400? Oh, you know what I mean? The chucks are yes. 200. Yeah. Why aren't they four? Like, <laughs> where, where, where are we deciding? Where are we drawing the line on which shoe is a thousand dollars and which shoe is regular price? Yeah. Mm. Anyways, all right. Uh, okay, Clo, what did you wear on feet today? Yeah, uh, today I wore some New Balance nine nine two in the mushroom colorway times jound. Yeah. 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 yeah I just, this is, I think, last week or a week before we were asking if you you wore those a lot, right? Yeah. That's nice, man. It's the time now. It's the time. You wore the. You went to work with those. Yeah, yeah. A lot of walking today, so I'm actually wearing running shoes every day at work. And they're okay with it. That's cool. It's great. It's funny. But that's nice, man. Nice shoes. wear. Some Do you in the in the drawers at work? <laughs> those are still at work. The dress shoes? Yeah. I'm no, never... I mean, okay, the dress shoes. Okay. Yep, never wore them. <laughs> they're just there, <laughs> just in case you get flagged. Yeah. 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 So do you do you wear the? How often did you wear the the down the New Balance? Um, well, now like, that the weather is getting better, I'm probably gonna wear them a couple times a week. But before, I was picking my days probably once mm-hmm. every week, every two weeks, depending on the weather. That's a lot. It was raining actually. a lot the last month, right? Yeah, it was. It is yeah. still. Yeah, but that's pretty good wear, man. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Well, in the winter, I pretty much left them at the office and was wearing them every second or third day. Indoors only? Yeah, indoors. Yeah. Because I'd wear my, what was I wearing? And I was wearing boots to, to work. Yeah. I have like okay. a 10 minute walk every morning. So I wear them, uh, what was I wearing? A- ACGs. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just, I just wanted to make sure. Like, so, <laughs> geez, you're wearing them in the winter. No, what do they just, look like? <laughs> oh, that's sweet. It's the salt. The salt is the problem. Yeah. Um, today, I wore some Air Max 98 times supreme collab the snakeskin yeah. colorway fucking steel, like those so what that that was that's all because of you man yeah, you like link so me that good. post that story was like a hundred dollars for those sneakers i'm like yep <laughs> let's go <laughs> yeah <laughs> so easy and i never easy leave place. the house i saw that i'm like i gotta go like <laughs> yeah, go. that. that was hilarious yeah i never leave the house i'm like oh, i gotta go and um <laughs> it was it guys i had at the front door Okay, I had like, uh, I kind of had to set it up for like summer vibes, but I had a few pair of sneakers that I hadn't worn in a while and I felt like I had to rotation them out. And I did say that I was going to do more of like an Air Max summer, but then I realized at the front door, I only had my Air Max 90 infrared and my Air Max 97 silver bullets. So not enough Air Max. And, and this is what I did. <laughs> the... the as dumb as I am, I go on my phone and start looking for an Air Max to get to beat up. Okay, <laughs> buy a new Air Max yeah. to beat up. And I was like, I need something. I need something hypey, you know. I want because the two Air Max that I have at the front door are like uh, classics. So I wanted something hype in the Air Max to beat up. And I'm looking on my phone, and uh, of course I, I go into the like the, the resale shops, and I'm looking, I'm looking. Like oh man, if I could get like a another pair of the Air Max concepts, then I I could beat one up, you know. Mm. And then you could slide it to me after. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you got to beat up, yeah, you yeah, 20, beat up this twenty twenty two, uh, yes. twenty three. Yeah, I'll send it. Yeah, but perfect. then uh, I go I go down to the basement to uh, drop off the shoes that I'm rotationing out, and right there I'm like, oh, off white. Air Max 90 Desert Ore. I'm like, oh, yeah, I bought those. I go, fuck, that should, <laughs> that should be one of my beat-up pairs. So I grab that pair. And then I'm like, I definitely have something else. And I go, oh, yeah, the Air Max 98 Supreme. I'm like, fuck that. I have the shoe. Like, Why did I immediately go to shop oh. for an Air Max, right, instead of just checking my closet? So I brought those two up, and they're, they're filling up the uh, front door vibes right now. So it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with my Air Max rotation. Both are do bangers. I gotta remove the boots. The boots are still in my 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 cubby. It's time, man. It's yeah. like we're June. Well, almost yeah. end of June. I gotta remove some leather, leather shoes, and mm. remove some boots. Put some mesh and some suede in there. Fuck. Like, I, always, not- I always hear this. For me, it's like my shoe will sit there for like two days max at the door. 
and I put it back in the box. But you're the only, good the, at it. The only reason it sits by the door is if, like, like the New Balances that I wore yesterday was because it was raining. Okay. So I left them by the door to dry. Right. If it would have been a dry day, I would have put them back in the box. Like, I never leave shoes by the door. <laughs> okay, we, we, we never done this with Cal. What's, what's at the front door, Cal, right now? Literally now? How many I, pairs do you leave up there? Literally, there's one, and it stays there at all times. And it's just that uh, I mentioned it uh, a couple episodes ago, the dunk. Huh. inspired by the Jordan nine dunk low something yeah, yeah, or other. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that just sits there because it's my beater. And yeah. actually I think underneath my, uh, underneath my winter crap that I have in the corner, like when I say that, I mean like a shovel and stuff. Yeah. Um, I think I have a pair of Roshi runs, <laughs> um, oh, holy but, that, but, that, but that's it. Yeah. Like I just, the only shoes that are beside the door are shoes I really don't care about. Like my, my cut the grass, my I'm quickly running to the store. You might see me wearing those dunks with some Adidas pants because I'm literally just <laughs> running to the store. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I don't think anyone's going to see me. <laughs> Dude, you go to the store cross branding. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, just, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I don't even do that example, to get the mail. Example. <laughs> That's like, um, so you really don't recognize Calby. This is this is all so that you don't know where Cal lives. Yeah, so you don't know yeah. where his, his kid's stash is, you know? <laughs> That's not Cal, he's cross-branding. Yo, you you got to bring the Roshi run back, man. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> it worked for Sean. Bring I back had. the two. Only took 30 years, man. Bring back Roshi. That's, that should be your vibe. Yeah, that shit um, was hype. Petition's dude. coming. Um, well, okay, so let's, let's say you're about to jump out the house. You get a call, something's up. You got to run out the house. So what pair do you grab right off your sacks? Is there always the same pair or whatever pair? Just switch it up. If I'm just like, if it's extreme emergency, it's those dunks. But if it's not, then it's probably going to be one of the pairs that are not in a box or, mm. a, or a pair of chucks. Like Makes I got sense. my chucks right there ready to go. My chucks. I'll say my chucks. Okay. Makes because uh, chucks go with everything. And uh, I like chucks a lot. So yeah. I'd probably uh, grab a pair of chucks. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, oh, so uh, tomorrow, guys, do you know where I'm, get, I'm going? Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's my day off. I get to visit the head office of uh, Kuality. Our good friends over gotta, at Kuality. Go check it out. Yeah. Yo, you haven't seen the new offices. No. Yeah. Oh, I've it's seen me. it. Oh, Cal's seen it. It's true. <laughs> I live a thousand miles away. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. It's very sweet. It's very nice there. Um, they have a huge showroom, right? And it's also like the office of uh, like the like one of the account guys, account manager guys. So um, tomorrow I'm going in to pick up some stuff, check out their new stuff. I, I didn't know that their shorts were out. I'm so happy. I'm fucking stoked. Yeah. Their shorts, man. Uh, mesh shorts, twill shorts, all like all sorts of goodness. If you haven't seen them, go check them out on their website, quality.com, K U W A L L A T E E.com. Dude, it's like nice patterns. It's it is. Like, out. I don't even wear shorts. And they were in the showroom kind of hanging off to the yep. side when we were in there. And I kept looking at them like, geez, those are nice. Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. those are really nice touching them and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chloe, you haven't seen them. When you get them in hand, you're going to appreciate, like, the quality on the mesh. I can't wait. I already yeah. told my wife what I was going to wear with them. She was like, <laughs> crazy. You're like, my like, dress you're, shoes, you're foam crazy. runners. <laughs> no, I told her I was going to tuck in a fucking dress shirt into those mesh shorts. Oh. I told her that's, that's, that's the shit. I'm going to roll up my sleeves, wear a dress shirt with fucking mesh shorts. Yeah. And that's going to be the summer vibe. Fuck it. Well, if you don't have a dress shirt like Clo, because he's got the business cash going, you can check out Quality. They also have beach shirts. Yeah, those right? shirts are Beach dope. shirts. Um, I don't know if I'm cool enough to wear those, man. Yeah, I think I'll try. I'll see. I'll see. I'll, when, I'll try one on when I'm there. If you guys want to check some of this stuff out, go to their website. You can hit up their Instagram as well. It's co- at quality. You can also uh, use our coupon code, which is sneaker20. Sneaker20. Guess how much discount you get. That's right. 20%. 20% off your order. Uh, super fast shipping. Great service. 
uh, tell them that the, the podcast sent you over, the sneaker podcast sent you over. And uh, yeah, yo, summer vibes are happening over there. Yeah, get the shorts before there's none left. Ooh, yeah, yeah they, got, they got a few nice patterns too, man. Like yeah. there's like the Paisley one, there's Paisley that one. tile one. Tiles, eh? Yeah. I like the tiles one. Yeah, man, me too. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I, I just want to say about their office, my favorite part of their office, and I didn't, I took a picture of it, but I didn't post it because I didn't know if I'd be allowed to, but they had their like idea board mm. and I've never, I've never seen one of those in real life. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the, the yeah. big like um, cork board and they just got their pictures stuck into it and like yeah. things are cut up and kind of pasted on something else and arrows are drawn and stuff. And I was like, <laughs> that's so cool, Dude, man. Like, so it's so dope. For those who don't know, the like the the guys who started Quality are like brothers. It's a family, and uh, I've I've been in like two of the brothers' offices, and one they're totally different. And one's one super like you walk in and it's super like welcoming, like super warm, and like it it looks like your living room, like it's but like a dope living room. He's got all his shoes laid out on the floor too, <laughs> like tons of sneakers. <laughs> And uh, like a couch and everything, and it's cool. It looks like you could chill in there and like bounce ideas off each other. And then the other brother's office is like clearly this is where they hatch their ideas. Everything's there. Like you're talking about like an idea board. That's an office. His office is an idea board. Like tons okay. of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think I was supposed to see any of that. You know. <laughs> that's how you know. Yeah. It looks like one of those those uh hunting the serial killer yeah. rooms or whatever yeah, yeah. they got yeah. they got like thread connecting dots yeah and shit. yeah <laughs> nah, it was a good time uh yeah so check them out again our coupon code is sneaker 20 sneaker 20 now we'll get to uh, the favorite part of our podcast which is new shoes i have to push that one out man uh does anyone have something yes i do yeah, go for it, Kulo. Cool. Um, I went, I messaged you guys when I went. I went to the outlets. Yeah. And I said to myself, I ain't buying fucking shit. I'm going to buy my kids some <laughs> fucking running shoes. I got, I got my daughter some Adidas forums. It was a great price. They're super cute. I'm super happy, happy for her. And I went to Nike and, man, I just, I, did, I, could, I was like, what the fuck? I waited in line for 10 minutes just to get up in this. Oh, there was a line? Oh. Yeah, there was a line. That's it was brutal. pretty rammed that, that day when I went. Like, it's kind of good that they have a line because I went to, right. I went to the Gap with my wife and you were rubbing shoulders like and elbows oh, like with people. Like, that's shit. how packed it was. So it's kind of good that they have a system where when someone comes out, someone could go in. Mm-hmm. Because or else it just gets like people might want to go hang in, hang in just because of AC or whatnot. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> fucking shit going on like that. Anyways, so I went into the Nike and they closed off some aisles, and I was like, "What the fuck? This is so weird." Mm-hmm. They're filling up the spaces with like just like countless amounts of like bags and like basketballs. It was just mm. walls of basketballs, and I'm like. There ain't shit. There was like probably 12 shoes in my size on, on the back wall. Oh, man. And it was all like half of them were the same shoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just look for the kids. And even at that, there was nothing. There was no deals, no nothing. No, I mean, no discounts. Just seems like everything is selling at the big shop. So, they're getting nothing, right? Mm. Anyways, uh, the hottest shoe I saw was over there was what? Uh, the Fear of God. Don't say it. Don't call it a hot shoe. <laughs> well, well, you know what I mean. That I know what you're saying. The only shoe with some sort of status, right? And, I mean, to uh, be completely honest, I, uh, I went to the outlet that same day, and that fear of God shoe would like rain down thunder on everything that I saw in ours. So yeah. he, he's got a, a, a slight okay. point calling it hot. Okay, <laughs> and you know what okay. was the second thing? Was that fucking snow boot I sent you guys? <laughs> Dude, that looked worn though. That, it did. They all look mashed up. It was uh. like a size twelve or thirteen or whatever. But I was like, man, that's dope. Because when I was when like I was looking for winter boots in the, in the winter, and I'm um. like, if I would have seen that shit, maybe I would have got it. it. Looks yeah. It looks like it looks warm. It looks like it could trust it. You know? Right. Yeah. So, but it was it was it was funky. Fear of God mock. Yeah. Jesus mock. I know, and it wasn't. 
it's not like it was like Cal. I think Cal mentioned it in our group chat. It wasn't sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, one, I consider that. It was like one twenty nine. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit much. One twenty nine or one fifty nine. I don't think that was too far from. Yeah, I remember because exactly what I thought is if if you remove that one, I will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll soul swap something with that awesome outsole. But I don't know. Yeah. That's like an under one hundred dollar type of shoe. I don't even know if I'd buy. I wouldn't pay ninety nine for it though. No, I know, I know. Really, it should have been one hundred and thirty bucks off rip. Oh uh, yes, that should have been retail yes. for that shoe. Yeah, and then discounted down like yeah. fifty. 50 yeah. percent off yeah but the, and that's been that shoe's been out for a while it's not like it's a recent yeah, for like uh, three years yeah four years when did that come out like 2000 fucking jerry lorenzo is working for adidas right now with adidas <laughs> right now okay that's how old that shoe is <laughs> any of you guys own that shoe nope not the no. mock i have the uh the air raid that has the same uh sole that's what i have as well yeah so i looked at it and i was like man it must feel weird on the heel with all that shit going on you know, the closing yeah. system on the back. Anyways. That's um, even, that's one of the parts that I think is the ugliest about it when I seen it. Yeah. I saw somebody wearing it with shorts, like which you would think by looking at it, maybe like, okay, this does yeah. look like you might wear it with shorts. But there's and then, uh, big empty space in the back. And then, yes, when you see it with shorts, there is, you know, yeah. an inch and a half space between the back of your ankle and the back of the shoe. And it just yeah. looks terrible. Yeah. Well, and you not can't for me. wear I'm socks sorry. with maybe that. Maybe it looks great to you. Sorry. <laughs> but hey, yo, if anyone out there can show us how to rock that shit yes yeah and if it looks cool all apologies and like we'll retract some of the statements <laughs> yeah on air <laughs> one of the thing, one of the things i saw is uh that outsole and the strap put onto what was the air max he he did yes a, oh the, okay forget the name Whatever that Air Max name was. I forget what it is, too. Skylon. The yes, Air Skylon. Um, he, he, somebody did a custom and put the strap. I've seen it without the strap as well, but the strap looked dope. Uh, and that outsole on that shoe, and it looked great. Like, mm -hmm. if that mock wound up at my door, I would start looking for a Skylon and someone that could do a sole swap for me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that picture. I thought yeah. that, like, when you don't read captions and shit, like oh is that how they're saving that shoe like making <laughs> yeah, it cool? yeah, yeah. i said oh no this is uh someone's custom no 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 it didn't work <laughs> but yeah i don't have the skill to do that um but what'd you get from the okay. outlet club yeah so <laughs> then i went to adidas uh adidas was pretty hype i mean that ivy park line was pretty interesting yeah um, yeah it was pretty I don't cool mind a bunch of that quality stuff. shit on that um I didn't find anything in Adidas. I was looking for some cleats or some fucking steel and mm -hmm. there was nothing. So then I went into Reebok thinking, meh, let me just see what's up. You know, maybe I'll find some Iversons or whatnot. Yep. A zigzag. <sighs> then I fucking walk. I go all the way back. There's like nothing on sale. And all of a sudden I see this little section and the guy's like, yo, 50% off anything with an orange tag. I look and I'm like, oh, fuck. Looks like I'm buying something. Oh, man. I fucking find these Reebok Club C's oh. with a fucking laceless oh, slide. It's like, a, it's like, it's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a laceless fucking, like, the heel is all removed and you slip on. Like, I don't know. What would you call this thing? A mule. A, mock, a, a mule, mule. That's mule. the name. Yeah. yeah. So I, I got a pair of uh, what's called? It's like a chalk colorway or white chalk yeah. colorway. And uh, laceless mule, and fuck, I saw the price. It was sixty three dollars with fifty percent off. Fifty, nice. sixty three. So it sixty three three, minus yeah, fifty percent, thirty one dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, so I was like, <laughs> do that. You know what? To take out the trash, or just <laughs> to like always keep at the front door. Yeah, you know, type thing. Why not? To cross like, brands. Yeah. Those would even no, look no, good no. with your mesh shorts and your uh, oh, the dress shirt. Oh. And the dress shirt, right? Yeah. yeah. This might be the official go and barbecue outside shoe. Yeah. You know, type thing. I can you know, see when that. you got shit in your hands, you're holding your tongs and your spatula to go to the barbecue, and you're like, fuck, I got to pull up my heel. Well, with this motherfucker, you don't have to. Yeah. Slide, slide right in, nice. barbecue and stuff. So that was my fucking pickup of the week, man. And. 
it finally it felt good kind of i don't i don't mind that one at all man no, and it's and like no. for the very price point, uh, yeah yeah that's usually the 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 shipping cost for one of the other purchases yeah and you know what's gonna happen with this Every fucking one that comes over to my house is going to be slipping their foot into this shit to go oh, no. outside. It's going to happen. <laughs> my kids are going to slip yeah. it on. My wife's going to slip it on. But that's okay. It's, yeah, for sure. For 31 yeah. bucks, everyone's going to get a ride. <laughs> Everyone gets a ride. Yeah. All right. Some random friend forgot something in his yeah. car. He's, He's going there. Oh, then. shit. I'll just throw these on. Yeah. 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 And then you're like, hmm, Club C's, eh? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. on, that's on brand, too. That's and good. They had them in black. And I actually said, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting like, I'm, I'm like, get it out of your mind. This is it's like not a two, two for one. one. Not the two for one. <laughs> Don't fall into the trap. So I just, I stuck it. I stuck with it. Just got one pair. Was there, there was a dude that was like telling you, yo, this corner's for you at the Reebok store, right? Yeah. He's like, he was like, look, this is the whole club C section. I have this pair. I have this pair. I have this pair. I have this pair. And I'm like, I don't see any orange tags. Sorry, buddy. It's not happening. Uh. <laughs> there was no 50, but there was one pair. There's one pair of club C's I'm looking for. That's not a collab. And it's, um, it has a bur- it's a white with some burgundy hits and it has a crest on it side. That pair I've been looking for for a while. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that they would have it. The guy said they sold out instantly. Oh shit! All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. White okay. bird. Uh, do you got anything, Cal, this week? Um, no, I, I caught a couple things. We'll talk about that next time when oh, uh, they when land. They land. Okay, gotcha. Do we really um, have to wait till it lands? I don't think so. Because it's up to you. Talk about Your call. That, that's gonna. You want? You want? You want? No, you, if you want? Yeah. If you guys want to talk about it, go for it. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do we do flooding our feeds? Maybe we could add to flooding our feeds. Yeah, well, add it to flooding our feeds if you want. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, Let's no. Do that then. No, but Cal, did you? You want to talk about what you picked up or not yet? Um, I mean, sure. It doesn't matter to me. Sure. Uh, I uh, I hit on the draw. I uh, for the Kith New Balances. Mm-hmm. Um. So you know we've talked about before the nine nineties V one V two V three V four. I put in for the V2, which was my personal favorite out of them, and the V3, which is the Daytona, which is also um, special to me. Uh, the original Daytona was the first yeah. uh, pair that I copped online at Kith. And so I personally, I hit on the Daytonas. <sighs> and then uh, and uh, I missed on the Cyclades, and that was actually pretty sad like to be honest i kept telling myself like i kept looking at the daytonas being like yeah those are so nice and then i'd see like underneath it'd be like you lost and i'd see the cyclades and i'm like oh my god like there's no way like what am i gonna do mm. like that's literally what i started thinking what am i gonna do i i have to get this shoe and uh uh i asked my buddy to put in for me uh because he was only getting one and uh he put in for me and he hit he hit his other nice. pair as well um but yes, so I ended up getting the V2 Cyclades as well. I'm super happy. Uh, I didn't think about going for the V4s today. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I'm not thinking about going for the V1s. I'm good. Like, I'm set. Um, I'm super happy about it. I'm still got my fingers crossed that that shipping confirmation comes in. But c- ch- cards have been charged, and mm. uh, usually that means you're good to go. I when think it comes that's to enough Kit. from Kith. Like they're yes. pretty on point with that shit. Yeah. yeah, once you get the confirmation, I haven't seen anyone get a confirmation and get canceled. Uh, not right. on wood. Same. And uh, uh, I don't know, like in terms of uh, Kith, because for those who don't know, we're, so we're in Canada. Kith is the United States. Uh, for Canadian purchases, they charge the duties, right? Customs and duties and taxes and shipping up front. So you know what's happening. And um, usually... Once that's done, I feel like it's pretty safe. <laughs> yeah. Like the purchase is pretty safe. And once yeah. it ships out, like sometimes they take a while to, to ship out. But once it does ship out, it lands in like a day or two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like I get it, I get my stuff delivered to an access point to pick up because I don't like it being left on the porch. Mm-hmm. And uh, even with that delay, because that's a one day delay every time. Because ah. for some reason, they decide to go knock on your door anyways every time. Mm. and i'm not home that's why i don't get delivered there and so with that one day delay by the time you get your shipping it's still like two days maybe three at the very most and it's you got it yeah 
I mean, is that what you wanted to talk about, Plo? The Yeah. Yeah. So, fucking Kelby. Nah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. All right. He said we're going to get zero for three. Kind of made me feel like it, for sure none of us were going to hit. So I'm like, fuck, let me try it. And then I was like, do I do it in my size or do I do it in Kelby's size? Mm. And I'm like, it doesn't matter because I'm fucking not going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> so I do it all in my fucking size, not knowing what the fuck I'm going to get into. And I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention to what day we were going to get an answer mm-hmm. or whatever. But uh, when was it? Yesterday? Yep. 10 o'clock. Yep. I get a fucking, a fucking notification. Mm. Uh, your selection wasn't wasn't taken or some shit. Yeah, basically L, and I'm I'm trying to click on it and see well what did I take an L on, right? And I can't. It's not fucking working. And then I go to the to the app and I see oh these are the draws that you've entered. Yeah, and they're all still there. So I'm like, well, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> then. What is it? Fucking what? What time did I get a fucking email? I get an email and they're all like spread out. I yeah, get an must email. Must have been late, man, because mine yeah. are coming late over here. Yeah. Anyways, I get a fucking email. I think it's like ten o'clock, and it says customer service payment receipt before order. I'm like, oh fuck, nice. I fucking won. <laughs> and then I'm like, which pair? And I'm like, view your order, do this shit. And then I'm like, I was so stupid. I didn't fucking click on show drawing entry summary at the top. Mm. So I finally did it and I'm like, oh shit, okay. I fucking got the smoked pearl. The yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, United nice. Arrows. Nice. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I got a pair and I'm okay with that pair. That's like my second place pair, right? What's your first one, place pair? What's your first? Mikanos, the Cyclades. Cyclades. Yeah. That was my number one. Then 45 minutes after, <laughs> I get another fucking W. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, my credit card is going to be fucking through the roof now. Yeah. Like, I was expecting zero. I was like, I'm like buying shit at $31 thinking I'm good for next month. And then I, I pick it up. I, I get it. I'm like, great. Now it's two. I got the Daytonas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, nice. All right. I got the first Daytonas. Now I got the second. Daytona. Mm-hmm. I'm giving myself reasons why it's okay now. <laughs> and, <laughs> so then I'm like, oh shit. It means that. The, that first notification was because I didn't get the Cyclades, which was the pair that I really fucking wanted. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Go to bed thinking it's two out of three. Holy. Wake up. I got another fucking notification at one something. You've won again. Damn. I got fucking three for three. Holy. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Is it because no one is locking in my size? Like, look at that. All three. All wins. Yeah. Funky, wow. man. Wow. Yeah. So now it's like, I'm going to have to rob a bank or something to pay off my card. Yeah, that's no kidding. crazy. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. Cheap, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot. Cheap that's all. a lot right there. And I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe I'll tell my wife not to get me anything for Father's Three for three. Whatever. Three for three, that's awesome. So yeah. for those who uh, weren't paying attention, uh, Kith was releasing those four 990s, New Balance 990s, V1, V2, V3, V4. Uh, they were all available for raffle entries, but you had to, quote unquote, download their new app, their new Kith app. You get the app, and then you can just enter all the raffles. And the new apps, it it is pretty cool. There's a whole section yeah, just yeah. for raffles. It's called and drawings. Right? My drawings. My drawings. You tap on that, and you can see everyone you've entered, and then they'll give you the status of it once uh, they do their draws. There's a loyalty yeah. tab. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know. What I kept refreshing that, eh? When, uh, yeah. How when, do I when that? Did, before, before like, they announced the draws, I'm refreshing the loyalty. Like, come on, give me loyalty. Give me yeah. loyalty, like, all day. And uh, so, yeah, that's these are all, all the raffles we entered. I think for the most of us, we didn't enter for the V1, 990 V1 Desert Rose. Mm. I did yeah, no. a, like Clo uh, and Cal, all other three versions of the V2, V3, V4. I actually got L's on all of them. Didn't win. What? Yeah. But I was okay with it because uh, it's a weird thing because you don't know which one you really want the most. Yeah. And it's a weird feeling not getting the one that you do want the most. Yeah. Because it diminishes the win. Yeah. Something, but it's still a beautiful shoe. 
So uh, the other thing that Kit are doing is they're doing four days of releases. So today is Wednesday. Today was the first release. It was the 990 V4, the uh, United Arrows and Suns. Tomorrow it's the V3, the Daytona, right? Yep. Then Friday is the V2, the Cyclades, and then they're going to do the V1 on Saturday. And um, I, I do want to want the United Arrows and Suns because it kind of matched. Like I have two other pairs from that original pack. So I, I did know, want it. And your favorite uh, NB pack of all time. Yeah. Most beautiful one. Yeah. So, and the release this morning, I just, I was okay get, catching the L's on the raffle because I was like, okay, let me just do the release. And the release at 11 a.m. was quick. I was so, two minutes it took me to check out. Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. Never, like, it went so fast that I go, wait, it said order confirmation. I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So I got that pair in my size and uh, it's cool. Like, it was great. Like, uh, Kith is one store that does allow, like, I don't encounter any, <laughs> what are you, like, errors on the web page in terms of, like, too many users on it or something. I have hardly ever encountered that. So, it's pretty good. Happy with that. So, I guess uh, we all got some W's, eh? Too Very many. cool. Too many yeah, W's. Too many. too many for this guy, yeah. That's why I didn't Dude. enter three. I was scared, man. I was, I was scared to enter two, man. I really was like... Yeah. Oh no, man! So, you yeah. Even you got, now, I'm I'm thinking to myself, fault, like, your fault, Cabby. You said I was gonna zero for three, and <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I you just re- reverse. I always it. expect the worst because then sorry. I can be happy and I can be not disappointed if it comes. Like, oh, I already knew that was gonna happen. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all these shoes. <laughs> keep them, <laughs> gonna wait till I You're gonna get them in hand, them in hand <laughs> and you're gonna love them. I'm so nice. glad you got them in your size, bro. Because if you would have got me the Cyclades in my size, I'd be like, oh my God, I got a pair too. <laughs> like, I'll feel so oh bad. no, now I have then to I buy guess, two. Oh no. Then I guess Chris could have swooped in for that one. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know, man. Like, it's not like the first pair. It's not like the first pair, you know? But I, I love the shape of the mm. 990, you know? So it's like, fuck. They look good. I'm already picturing outfits on them. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Mesh shorts. I'm very Fuck. excited about it. Mesh shorts that, on all of them, it, motherfuckers. That's it in terms of uh, your your pickups, you guys. Yeah, I got yeah, two yeah. things today. Um, it was delivery day. I did get like a Kith shirt as well, like the uh, from the Wire Pack collection. Oh, yeah, me too. I got the uh, Omar uh, long sleeve. It landed. Uh, and yeah, it's great. Happy about that. I also got. Um, they had like a sale this weekend on adidas.ca where you get 40% off outlet. So 40% off anything that was already on sale. Nice. And uh, I immediately went to like the basketball section and they had um, like uh, Dame shoot sneakers, the Dame 8. So I picked up a pair. They were like, I think on sale already at 120 minus a 40%. I think G. I paid like 70 bucks for these. Nice. Yeah, just to just to play in them, you know. I was like, oh, I'll I'll spend that. I'll get that. So I got these. Um, they made and they're kind of flashy. I like that. And well, so, I like that Dame branding on the inside yeah, there. It's kind of like under a mesh or something, is it? Yeah, yeah. On the like uh, the, on the medial, medial part. Side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Funky. Dame, Dame, Dame. Yeah. In terms of like um, basketball sneakers, if I if I'm not down with the player, like the signature shoe. I won't get the shoe. Same. It's just one thing. Yeah, I won't either. For basketball anyways. Well, when I used to ball. I I also got a shoe that I, I picked up on. Uh, I think I bought it during the last episode or the, the episode before that. And I was super happy. It was like a pre-pod purchase. I don't know why I do this, but every like I said, every 10 minutes, I, I search eBay in case someone loads oh, yeah. up one of their shoes for sale and i found it and usually it's really expensive but i found it it's the gt cut nike gt cut in the grinch colorway Ooh. the grinch colorway furthering the rumor that this might have been slated to be a kobe signature shoe at one point so got this usually very hard to find for like a decent price i got it for a nice price 
And um, it landed today. I'm very happy. I'm going to be playing in these. It's going to be funky. And of course, I'm going to take a picture of this shoe with the Grinch Kobe 6. Nice. <laughs> Is that a carbon fiber plate visible on the bottom? Yeah. On the outsole? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Super happy about this shoe. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun, uh, fun ball, ball, ball shoe to test out. It's going to be I'm super happy about that. Those are cool. And I like the swooshes on them. Like it, it was a purchase where I didn't plan it and it, it is expensive. Okay. And, but the fact that it was available, I just had to do it and just like, fuck it. I gotta, I gotta get on this. And um, like, I never envisioned owning it. So I'm real happy that I got it. Awesome. <clears throat> I think that's it for new shoes, new shoes. Right. I think we'll leave, we'll read some uh, audience messages later because I think someone mentioned wanted to show us their new shoes. So we'll check it, check that out a bit later. You can can I uh, can I show you an old shoe real quick for a second? Yeah. Okay. So I spilled something in in my uh, in my sneaker room the other day, and I had to throw a bunch of boxes out of the way and and scrub scrub my stain. And uh, I, I I found these that had been sitting at the bottom of a stack. And I literally been looking at them all day. And they are the original G Unit Rebox. The G Unit. <laughs> <laughs> and like the leather is still nice on them. You can still kind of see through the outsole. Uh-huh. Like they held up not bad at all. Like to be completely honest. And, uh, I just think it's hilarious. I've been looking at them all day, so I just wanted to like show you guys that because that's something you don't see every day. <laughs> yeah, man. Holy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> G- 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 unit. That's that, crazy. That's though. like that's, that's ahead of its room. time, right? Yes, a, it was ahead of its a time. A collab with a music a music artist or you know a non athlete. Yeah. And like, there's no like separation. <laughs> well, and it's a solid shoe. Quality. The, the foam is not crumbling. Like I could wear this today. <laughs> yeah, pretty that's crazy, nice, man. Yeah, that's further proof that you're no G, huh? I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the cornball one. We um, should do that once in a blue moon. I'll what? present a shoe that we haven't seen in a long time. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure we could pull out some crazy shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's like closet that i don't go into i was just gonna say i know chris has got a whole section of shoes he hasn't looked at in years yeah yeah <laughs> like people like under armor basketball i was in on that way before steph curry showed up <laughs> yeah uh all right let's move on to flooding our feeds uh real quick like uh we have a few releases that are actually happening either today or tomorrow there is a Puma MB01 Low in the UFO colorway. Uh, Mello's next uh, next offering from his signature line. It's like a low. It's like gray with, I think, teal-ish colorways. Yeah. It's pretty cool that they made a low version. I like it. Yeah. I think that if they, they had released more lows or if it had come out as a low, it'd do as well. As his mid cut one did, I think so too. I think yeah. that shoe would look uh, even casually with shorts. It would look pretty decent in that low cut. Mm. Okay. Like when I saw it, I was like, "Hey, you know, that looks like you could wear it casually." Yeah, and, uh, those colors are great. It's like Air Mag colors. You can't go wrong with that. Yes, true. Yes, yeah, very well. Yeah, like I, I, they don't really have any misses. eh? the MB one, like any of the colors. Yeah, no. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Nice, uh, nice first signature shoe, man. For sure. Uh, that's the show I watch on YouTube, buddy always uh, is buying up stuff, and he, <clears throat> whenever he sees one of those, he buys it up. Which is like, it's yeah. so funky. It's nice to see. It's For nice sure. See. Yeah. Like you see, all his stacks is Nike, every single thing, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, there's a stack of Mellows. Yeah. Like. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool because I feel like it brings attention to their other uh, ball sneakers. True. And I've seen a lot of people rocking Pumas like uh, to play in. So that's nice too. 
way to in way to like get back into like a category like they were in it like a long time ago and to come back in like this is not bad yeah it's cool uh did you guys get a look at this nike ispa link i don't know if it's ispa or i'm supposed to be, say ispa ispa wow. link it's pretty guys, cool man yeah it's out there that shoe yeah i like ballsy shit like that yeah i like it too i don't like it enough to like wear i would i would need a reason why to buy it like to buy yeah. it you know it's a lot like those uh like those moon boots moon landing shoes or whatever like the mars yards and all that like the one with the covering and shit like, it's a nice shoe, but, like, I don't see how I would wear that. If I could, if I'd go camping a lot, maybe I'd grab a pair. Mm. They look yeah. cool. They look really cool. Yeah, yeah. I get that. How's the but pricing on that thing? I have no idea. That's something I should have checked, eh? I'm kind of scared I think, to look. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at a picture of stock X's prices right now on them. Right. 707 592 Oh man! Shit, maybe I, I don't know if that. retail is super high. Those <laughs> those ISPA releases are pretty like out there and yeah. Anyways, so the, another reason why we wouldn't get it. <laughs> it's too, too expensive. Uh, let's move on to this uh, Titan Twenty Two times Jordan Two. This is a low cut. I think we mentioned it on another podcast, uh, another episode of the podcast. Um, do you guys want to talk about this Jordan 2? Like, it doesn't look like a Jordan 2 to me at all. Um, fair, yeah. I'm not a 2 guy, you know what I mean? Sorry, I don't, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking who, about who in this is? situation. Like, for real? Like, who is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Tall guys, probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it, it reminds me, like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing. Again, I'm not a 2 guy, so I, I have no idea what you want the shoe to look like. Hmm. But it it really does remind me of uh five fifty New Balance with that really? color blocking like around this the toe. Yes, the that one this only. One. That yeah. one only. The Titan one. When I see it, it does not scream Jordan to me it at all. It doesn't and, scream Jordan to yeah. Um, I'm a little confused if I <laughs> like that or if I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like, I it's, don't like it because don't, eh? yeah. If it doesn't look like a Jordan two, then what's the point? Like, True. what's really the point? Like, even the uh, shit, I, uh, there's that designer girl, the Dabney, like her collab is like, it, it doesn't, it's not a takedown. Takedown is not the right word. Where it's her collab, the shape is a bit weird, like the silhouette, like the textures are all a bit smoothed out. But you look at it right away and you're like, that's a Jordan 2. Yes. Like, you can clearly tell it's a Jordan 2. But it doesn't look like one, like off the off the cuff. This one, like it doesn't look. I totally agree. It doesn't look like it. I think it's maybe the use of the material. Where they're using the material, like the is it corduroy? Yeah, corduroy around. Where the they're using like it makes it slightly. Are they off. a skate shop by any chance? Like it kind of looks like a skate shoe. No. No, like they if just, they were a skate a shop, shop. I, I think I'd probably like it more. You know, you know what I mean? If they're like, hey, let's turn a Jordan no, to a skate they're, they're shoe, I'd be like, big. oh, that's neat. Like, <laughs> just, just sneakers in general. Because I remember, like, a lot of guys talking about it for, like, a lot of the releases. I yeah, like I the think... corduroy on it. You like it? Yeah, I don't mind it. I, I just wish they would have... The green for the eyelets and around the tongue. I'm not a, cre- I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that green... Because like when you see photos with a foot in it, the orange doesn't come out as much. Okay. You know, but that green, those green eyelets, which don't match the same green as the corduroy, that throws oh, okay. me off a bit. If that was like maybe like a forest green or a black, maybe the shoe would hit different. Or maybe even if it was orange. And let's say the Jordan logo was in the green, then it would have. It's as if this shoe was made for Michelangelo, the Ninja Turtle fuck. Like oh no <laughs> now now this is all I see now <laughs> yeah like but I I like the corduroy I see the Jordan too I see it right away it's just I, I, I just wish the color blocking was a bit different when I see the back you know like the no you see, those you see the dots I I see I see it from the very front and the very back from the side even with those dots going around it 
it doesn't look like a Jordan two to me. The, is it is it the outsole a looks a bit more squarish? It's the color of the like, yeah, maybe like, yes, the speckles of like it, the specs yeah. on it too changes it up. But I like that gray suede that's on it. Yeah, that's cool. There's some good parts of the shoe, and maybe the color blocking could have been. If Concepts had a crazy story behind this shoe, I might like it. Like if Concepts was like, this is the Jordan Two that represents George Green Green Corduroy to Wilson. And you know what I mean? Like, then, like, I could see, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand it. And I think that's partly why uh, I don't like it. Uh, okay. Maybe there's nunchucks underneath it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, all right. Eh, I know. I'm, I'm looking at this shoe way too much now. Jesus. Well, we don't, we don't have to worry about who's getting it. No, nah, we'll, right. let, let, we'll leave it for, for Sean. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, next shoe up. What do we have on the docket? Uh, okay, we already talked about the Ronnie New Balance uh, release. Jordan 4 Infrared. Do you guys want to talk about this? Haven't we spoken about this already? We have quickly. I don't know. There wasn't much releasing this week. So it, it popped up. I don't know if you, is there any more thing more to say about this? I feel like you can't, like the military black was a really nice Jordan 4. Yeah. And this one could have been very nice the Infrared. It's following the military for. Tough, follow, it, tough to follow that. Yeah, tough to follow. But it will sell. Yeah, it's a Jordan 4. Yeah. Yeah, and it's black, red, right? Black, red, white. All right. Uh, Adidas Yeezy 700 in the high res red. Uh, that's releasing June 17th. So that's Friday. Lucky for us, Mike is part of our chat and um he i think they have them in display in the store already and he showed us some real live pictures of the the shoe i actually like it like i saw like the pictures i saw of it on ig versus mike's picture from the store i like mike's picture from the store a lot and i'm like oh shit that that shoe looks cool man i don't know you guys uh you guys like this one <laughs> It's out there. Yeah. It's it's not for me. Um I think I think it's kinda cool that they kind of went out of the box for what they've been doing as of late. So uh kudos to them, uh Team Yeezy for doing something different. But it's it's not for me. It's too much. I don't know if they're on. doing something different, dude. Because so okay. The Wave Runner is an amazing shoe, right? That that colorway, yeah. Wave Runner colorway, is amazing. And um, I don't think it needed like a sequel or like the third third act of this shoe, like in different colorways with the same blocking or similar blocking. I think it's uh, even like I like the color of this high res red, but doesn't mean that I buy into it especially not if i put it next to a wave runner you know i just i think you could do amazing things with this shoe i think that this 700 is beautiful i think there's a ton of paneling on it mm -hmm. i think if yeezy kanye or whoever wants to design and stuff went back to like the way kanye used to do it yeah and using like pastel colors yeah earth tones, you know, a bunch yeah. of them earth tones like, yes Dude. like you could you could crush this shoe you could put one out like there's enough colors and enough panels that you can make all the shoes look different and put one out every week for the whole year and i don't know about that but yeah I, but i hear you on like using yeah those earth tones would have been great i just yeah because that midsole is so good man I keep so looking. good yeah it's a great shoe to wear too <clears throat> yeah fucking great shoe <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> such a good shoe. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, yeah, on the heels of that, they're releasing another uh, v Yeezy 350, another one. He'll that one, off. they should no stop. <laughs> this one's called Bone. Um, it's gonna sell big time. I guess, but like, why, man? In what's price point on this? Probably what three, four, three fifty on the three fifty. I think it's yeah. three ten, three twenty, three ten. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. It's gonna yeah. sell. At least, uh, at least it has laces. 
When right. they were turning the laces into like the fuse tip. Where oh, you tie I know it, what you're talking about. That yeah. looked awful. No. Oh, sorry, if you like, I'm, I don't mean to call things awful. It wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't like that at all. Um, so I see, I see laces on this and that's good. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, let's get into this week's topic. And uh, it's great. We have Chloe, we have Cal. We're going to talk about niche sneaker brands. And I, I called it niche sneaker brands mainly because I didn't want to say that they're like secondary brands or the other brands. Uh, let's, let's, let's be honest, most a lot of the sneaker releases are Nike Jordan these days. That's what people like. The big collabs, the big uh, releases. That's in the masses point of view, like their point of view. But for certain people, it's other brands that matter more. And uh, Cal, we can point to maybe anything Kith related. Yes? 100%. 100%. And for Klo, anything that's like... Well, what don't you tell us? What's what's your what's your lane right now? Right now, it's more like I've been trying to stick to the Jound, Jound uh, mm-hmm. collabs, and it was mainly because I didn't want to be wearing the same shoes that other people would be wearing, like yeah. on the bus or whatever. Fair. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. So I was trying to go really down that lane, and not necessarily just Jound, but just overall. You know. Yeah, I wanted stuff that would it, it wouldn't be an easy release. And like we so mentioned, like, Jound to be associated with you because it it kind of does resonate what you you're into these days, like New Balance, yeah. uh, Reebok, right? Yeah. And when you mentioned going to the outlet and going into the Reebok store, and like why not? I'm like, yeah, of course. I expect you to go into Reebok at this point. It's you the know, first place I want to go to. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, John, John is very uh, well dressed man to me. Mm. Like that's I I like I like John. I like the stuff they do, and I'm like, no, I'm I'm not. I don't have the etiquette to wear these. Like you know, <laughs> you know, like it's a uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's a little out of my wheelhouse. I'm not a uh, I'm not that fancy. I, I like all their stuff, but it's very like simple, clean, and like I don't know. Like I yeah, said, well dressed man, like really gentlemen. Like, it's really like undercover type of stuff. Good quality, good, uh, good cuts. Well, anyways. So do do you guys view yourselves as uh, I don't want to say regular sneakerheads, but like in the multitude of releases happening every week, how do you see yourself? Like, do you feel like you're in like? like a different lane, like the fast lane or like an express lane or a service road? Or are you like just biding your time and seeing when it's the appropriate time for you guys to strike in terms of like the whole group of people that love sneakers? How do you guys view yourselves? I try to just stick to that, but as you can clearly see, I fucking love all sneakers. I mean, look at this is fucking three for three on the Kith. I mean, that's like, but that to me is like an extension of like your down stuff. Like the yeah. new balance is still within still your wheelhouse. The new balance, yeah. you know, um, I did go for the Teddy Santis new balances too. Mm. You know, I, I did put it in the category of hard shoes to get, you know, not easy accessible. Yeah. So I guess I'm still focusing on that. Um, yeah, I really just don't want to be caught, be caught wearing shoes that some guy on the bus is going to be wearing mm. right beside me. So, except for these Club C mules. <laughs> because everyone's wearing those. <laughs> I don't think my neighbor's going to pull out his garbage the same time as me wearing these things. Right. <laughs> Anyways, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'm wearing the Eames. Like, I'm, mm. I'm just really trying to wear the, the different stuff. And as for my other items, man, I don't know, man. Like I got all those those Pata Air, Air Max ones, and I'm like, man, th- like I gotta I gotta pull it out. I gotta do it. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing a okay. lot of Patas, but at the same time, like I'm stuck in this New Balance thing and Club C thing. So good, but uh, anyways, yeah, I love shoes. Jesus, that's uh, that's basically exactly the same as me. Um, yeah. 
when I, I started moving to New Balance a while back, it's not everything I buy. I buy a lot of other different stuff, but well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I buy different stuff. But I started wearing it because that was before there was the New Balance hype. And I started wearing it because I was right. like, wow, these are very good quality, very comfortable. And the kids aren't wearing them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There might have been some other people wearing them and like, you know, people would look at me and be, oh, look at this old head with his new balances on. Yeah. Um, but that was my point is that like Chloe on the on the bus or the train or walking through the mall, I didn't want to have the same shoes as like a 16 year old mm. kid had on. Right. Um, and not necessarily something you could find at the mall. Yes, yeah. exactly. And that that brought me to Kith. And then that's why I just focused on Kith because I was like, OK, here's something that not a ton of people are wearing. Yeah. And they're coming in limited, you know, mm. like I want, and that's why majority of all the new balances and ASICs I buy, I mean, majority is Kith, but even the ones that aren't are collabs again. Be, and that's based on how limited they are because yeah. just like Chloe, I don't want to walk into a room and somebody's wearing the same shoes as me. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's, that's where, how I started doing that. And in the terms of speed, I, I, I think that it kind of regulates me uh, sticking majority to kiss. Mm-hmm. I can, I can chill for a while. And I like that because, you know, I have enough shoes that I don't, I don't wear them all. I wear them a few times a year. Um, and I could get some more wear out of the ones I do own and I can chill. And so like, I, I believe we talked, touched on it a little bit in one of the episodes that it's been a, a slower year for Kith so far this year uh, in sneakers. Yeah. And that led me to buying a whole bunch of random shit um, <laughs> yes. just because I was itching so bad. And, you know, and I, I, I was buying every Kith t-shirt I could get and, Oh, Kith put out a new hat. So I'm going to buy this. And then I started being like, well, geez, man, I'm getting all these clothes. Like I have enough clothes as well. Mm. So I'll go back to my passion and grab some sneakers. And then all of a sudden I, I buy all these sneakers and then Kith decides to drop their new balances that I love and need. And, I look at all these other sneakers I bought, which I still like, like, you know, I, I, I've got them because they're, they're stuff I like, but I also look at them and I'm like, man, all those added to the, the crazy amount of money mm. I dropped today. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, if I didn't, if I didn't buy all those, I, I could have maybe got all four of them uh. um, from the pack. So that's it. I kind of like the way it regulates me. I'm going to try to get back into that now. Um, like I went ham, bought those other shoes. I, I bought two pairs today. And uh, I'm just going to fall back for my Kith. And another thing that I really like about Kith is for me personally, they're clothing wise. I'm, I'm a t-shirt jeans hoodie dude. Like that, that's yeah. what I rock. And, but if you're not, if you're someone like Clo, who who's a well-dressed man, they, they have that upper echelon of their product as well. Mm. You know, they have the ALD style, John style stuff. And, you know, John, obviously in ALD, both do hoodies and t-shirts as well. Um, but they also do that really nice stuff. And so does Kith. So if I ever get to the point where I'm like, okay, you know, I want to, I want to wear a cardigan, like the Ronnie's got me, <laughs> you know, I can, yeah. can go grab myself a Kith cardigan and, and hmm. stay with what I do, uh, while changing my style. So I really like that. Yeah. And, uh, That's fair point. yeah, okay, I mess with you- essentials a little bit. That's, uh, I started dabbling in essentials. I'm a big fan of, uh, Jerry Lorenzo and their price points are nice. Mm-hmm. So that's why I started messing with uh, essentials a little bit. Quality's and uh, yes. And the quality is good. So, but that's about it. You know, I'll dabble in something else, but kiss all day. So do, <laughs> do you guys think uh, it makes it easier or harder to get shoes? The fact that you're not in line with everyone else. Both. Mm-hmm. Um, Thanks, thanks to Kith, I get a lot of loyalty emails. Mm-hmm. Okay, but if I don't, there's a very high chance I'm gonna miss. Okay, um, so that's kind of how it is, um, and I don't mind that. I mean, you miss, it really sucks, but when you do hit, it's like yes, like you know how many other people missed. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you know they're not wearing them. You know, <laughs> like yeah. So I don't, I don't mind it either way with your John releases how you've been doing uh my my hitting percentage is pretty decent and as for the the jowns if it's a if it's a colorway that really is a must yeah i'm i'm prepared to pay resale right 
right off the bat. Yeah. Um, as for the other colorways that I feel like, okay, maybe one day it'll be part of the collection. I'll wait. Like that yeah. navy pair, I waited. The price point was right, and I, I dipped in. Uh, now for that brown pair that I just missed, I'll wait for the right time. Mm -hmm. See a bunch of them for sale. Everybody's trying to, you know, get yeah, as yeah, much yeah. as they can. But who knows? Maybe I'll find the wear a worn pair or something like that. There's no rush. No rush. I got plenty of other shoes. Plenty of other shoes. That's another thing too. I got to slow down and really <laughs> pick them well. You know what? The kith, all all three. It's all good. Like it's really all good. Like even if I choose not to keep them, man. It'll give me a shoe and a half later on. True, right? true, true, true. It's all good. So, so on that, uh, on that, in that same vibe, since you guys are such fans of like one particular brand or two particular brands, do you feel it gives you an advantage in terms of understanding how releases go or what's upcoming or what's worth it or what's not worth it, what you can wait on or what you can have to jump on right away? Yeah, I think like we kind of have a game plan, right? Yeah. I uh yeah. Yeah. I won't be I won't get stuck buying a bunch of t-shirts like Cal, but <laughs> 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 but I'll have somewhat like a, somewhat of a plan and know that, you know, I don't got to go grab this and that and this and mm -hmm. that, you know. I grab a club C that's fucking on sale at 50%, but I won't go nuts on clothes and, and shit like that. And do you guys find it like, do you have like a particular reaction when you meet someone that's into the same stuff you are? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I give the head nod, the head nod. Now that, now that the, the pandemic is a lot better, I'm, I'm like reaching out giving pounds now. Like I feel like oh, it's yeah, okay, okay to touch people. Now. Bumps, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dope. Elbow this guy bumps, came up yeah. to me. I was in, uh, what was that, Mirabal? Yeah, I was wearing... Uh, uh, foams, right? I came up, oh, foam runners. Yeah, he's like, man, dude, looks pointed down and give me the head nod and the thumbs up and everything. And I'm like, nice. oh, you know, you know, you know. All oh, right, I'm like, <laughs> Jen, did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. That's no, I like it, man. I like it. Like even going into the Nike and people see me wearing the foams and they're like, oh, I can't give you props, but I'm giving you props type thing. You know, mm. like you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I love shoes, man. I, uh, even giving I, people props is good yeah uh, i agree that's if if i see someone i'm gonna i'm gonna holler and let them know like yo i yeah. see you. like you didn't have to wear those today you know what i mean uh, you wore those yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I got you man i yeah. saw what you did Extra. there yeah and yeah. uh like even i have a friend that uh i've only known for a couple of years now and we go out a lot and i'll get comments you know people will notice what i'm wearing or whatnot mm -hmm. whether it be a pair of shoes or a shirt and uh, he's like, yo, this is why you do it, isn't it? And then, then I'm like, yeah, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is why I do it, man. Because, like, I do it for the people that know what I'm doing. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Like, yeah, for yeah. me, like, I feel proud walking out my house. If you don't know what I'm doing, like, that's fine. You're not, you're not in my, like, demograph. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yep. like, and he's like, okay, I get it. I get it. Because, like, you know, we'll be somewhere and someone will be like, holy crap, nice shirt. And I'll be like, yo, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Like you know, and keep it moving. And then he's like, just looks over at me like, all right, I get it. And I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> and like, especially like for me, for me personally, like when, when it's like a woman, it's like, it's a lot. It's like, you know, what's your Instagram? You know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't meet many women like you. Like, I'm not even trying to hit on you. Like you got a boyfriend. That's great, man. Does he, will I, does he wear this too? Can we be, like, you <laughs> we know can, what I mean? We can like, be a team. Yeah, I, I don't I don't meet many women like you so it's uh it's very cool like when that when that happens I uh, I really appreciate it because there's only so many people that you know know the same things that we know mm -hmm. and so when you find them it's kind of like it's neat it's you know what I mean it's yeah you're supposed to know them because you know it's it's a limited amount of people that know the same things as you know yeah yeah kindred spirits yeah like um that's Virgil has a quote that I like that he says, uh, clothing is just a collage showing people the things that, you know, mm. and then I was like, awesome. <laughs> like it's perfect, man. <laughs> That's good, man. Um, uh, a bit on the flip side, last question for this topic. 
Do you guys sometimes feel like you need to explain yourselves? Or that you're like not fully understood? Not fully understood a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't really have anyone to explain myself to. Um, my mom kind of gets it and I don't have anybody else that cares. Um, but uh, the, the people don't get it. Like, yeah, people will be like, you already have that shoe. And I'll be like, mm-hmm. no, I don't. And then they'll be like, yeah, I don't be like, yo, this is a completely different shoe. Like, put it down. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't touch don't, it. Don't touch it. Don't look at my shoe like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, I, I, I definitely get that people don't get it at all or they'll find out, you know, like, you know, that's a hundred dollar shirt and you're like, how about, yeah, how about is, but... even other sneaker heads? No, I think, I think other sneaker heads get it. Even if, even if you're not on the same vibe, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like even I'll see, you know, maybe someone that only rocks like EQTs or whatnot. Right. And I, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. But I'll see the shoe and I'll see what's going on and I'll be like, okay, you know, I see what you did there. Like uh-huh. even, you know, you could just tell, you might not know the clothing brand, the shoe brand or anything, but you could just tell that the way it's put together, that it was on purpose. Right. Like the, that wasn't an accident how that guy looks. So then you, you understand enough to know, like, even if you don't know anything about what he's doing, you understand that you know he's on the same vibes as you you're just different you're in different lanes on the same highway kind of thing mm-hmm. yeah 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 okay anything to add you guys are good yeah all right cool people know man people know. people know people know now well <laughs> people around me know they don't yeah. even bother asking <laughs> they get it they're like yeah it's fucking clo like it's clo what do you he's wearing that shit because it's him right mm. yeah that's, that's a good. very that's good, good point, point. If, uh, if any audience members feel like they're also in that niche category, uh, feel free to hit us up in the DMs. And then maybe you, Chloe, and Cal can start like a niche group, support group type thing, you know? Yo, I can't even lie. I was looking at Jound hoodies. That's why I brought it up. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to like buy one. But uh, they got some really clean hoodies, and like we were talking about the down last time or whatever. Yeah. And I, I started looking into it, and I'm like, man, their their hoodies are super clean. Like, yeah. If I you like go them. on the the site, like the shop has tons of stuff. The thing is, sometimes it's like a white tee, but there's you're gonna have to tell people it's down. Yeah. See, you yeah, know? no, I that, <laughs> that's not what I was looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at even though the logo is super small, I'm yeah. looking at the black one with the white logo across yeah, it. The like, huge one, yeah, <laughs> make sure you can see it there. Like, yeah. I'm not dropping three hundred dollars on a hoodie that nobody can tell the difference between it and Walmart. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was a great show. Thank you, audience, for joining us once again. You can download and listen to the Sneaker Podcast anywhere podcasts are broadcast. Clo, where can people find you on the social media? At Chlorel. At Chlorel. And Calby, where can people find you? You can find me at Just Kelby and also at Traffic Boys. Shout out to the Traffic Boys. And you can find our good friend Mike at On Air with Mike D. You can find our good friend Sean at S Collard23. You can find myself at Christopher.chu and be sure to follow us at the Sneaker Podcast. Big shout out to our sponsors, Sneaker Logic and Quality. One love, all the sneakers. Peace. Peace. Peace.